What is going on you beautiful people? I'm back again with another How I Use Operator video. I was going to do Thatcher, but as you just saw, Thatcher has been banned in this one. So I'm not going to be using Thatcher. I'm going to skip one. I'm going to go through to use Ash. And then also I'm going to use the third operator on the other defending side when I go to it. So let's, without further ado, let's start with Ash. Let me show you what I use, what weapon I use, and how I use her. So I actually use the G36C, you could use the R4C, it's completely up to you and uh, how you like it. And then I use the M45 Musoc, obviously the breaching rounds and a Claymore. I don't use the breaching charge, the reason I don't use the breaching charge is because uh, you've obviously got your Ash rounds and breaching charge don't go through reinforcing walls, but um, her charge obviously does the exact same thing. I could use the breaching charge and uh, double it up with it, but I mean, I'm in gold. Do I really need to use it? I'm not sure. Maybe I'm completely wrong. So as, as always, when you start around, always use your drone. Try and figure out where everything is. If you are new to the game and you don't really know how to play it, remember I, I'm not the greatest at this game anymore. I used to be really good at the game, but not anymore. But what you want to do, for instance, when you start off with your droning phase, if you're unfamiliar, try and find a door. Try not go through any drone holes and try and find your way to the objective, remembering where you went through all the way to the objective without a drone hole through all doorways so you know exactly where to go this is going to be the easiest way for you to remember the maps and always with your next 40 seconds once you've got familiar with a route switch it up and change routes to figure it out so you can see the objectives right there they've got some drone uh, masks there i'm going to head forwards always yet again at the start of the round you want to be so careful with spawn peaks in this case i'm going to have a spawn peak You've got one at that window there. You see a teammate literally just died up there. So there's a window just here. And I believe that's where they killed him. So you just want to be careful with that. Always, if you can, take, take out the cameras. Let's try that again. And just uh, any soft walls, any windows where someone might peek from, be careful with uh, looking at it. Because they might do exactly what just happened there. I'm going to deploy a claymore so that person don't jump out. That person got greedy because they've already got two kills. They thought, right, okay, I'm going to go for a third. I might actually... No, I'm going to leave that claymore there because that will protect me from any push-outs. But still, be wary of all of the windows. Try and pre-main where the heads are if you can. Take a couple of pop shots to see if you can get any cheeky kills. It's not a must, but it is helpful. Ooh. See, I need to be careful here because there's a hole in the wall. And I haven't really got anywhere I can drone carefully. I'm going to bring my drone that I had earlier. You know how it's... Oh, it's been taken out. So I'm going to throw down another drone right now. And I'm going to stick it through this hole in the wall. With doing so, I can see where someone is. I can see there's someone just here. I now know that there's someone there. So I'm going to try and give a bit of cover. Because they know that there's someone's in there now. They've probably used comms. Okay, I thought there was a teammate in there. There's not. They know I'm here now. I need to be really careful. Okay, I'm last alive. I need to ideally spin my drone around. Okay, they've taken out my drone. Being last alive, this is going to be very difficult. Just uh, pre-aim where you think someone might be. And unfortunately there I got killed. He must have heard me. Oh, I didn't see him. So, this meta as well is a swing or... Yeah, swing or be swung. Something new to me, but apparently playing aggressive or overly aggressive on a swing is so good in rank 2.0. It never used to be a thing. It used to be hold an angle, but hold an angle is not as good. As you can see, there was a bit of a delay where he pushed around then. We've got to watch out for that fawn. So we know that fawn was coming out of a particular window. So it might be good to send a drone up there. Just to help your teammates out. Sorry, I'm going to Ash. I don't know why I was looking at other operators. I'm meant to be using Ash. So yeah, this is how I'd use Ash. I haven't actually showed you her ability. When I do the next load in, obviously on the third attack with Ash, I'll show you exactly what uh, attachments I've got on this gun. And that way you have a better understanding of that as well. I think the, the attacking operator or the defending operator I'll be using is Pulse. Might be completely wrong, but we'll see in a moment. So yeah, again, as I've started in the drone phase, I'm at the petrol station here with the drone. We take out that can, but we need to watch out for all the windows. Now, we do know that up here, there was a window where they were killing them right at the start, which is this one right here. So I want to now find myself 
a way into there and try and get a drone just to hover on that window. It's not so much for me because I might be able to take that person out. But I want... Uh, t oh, I just got hit by a muzzy. Do not do that. I wanted to try and get my drone there just so I could see if anyone else was there. To stop them from doing that exact same play again, taking out my team. Threw two people down right at the beginning of the round. That's not a good start. Five seconds before insertion. Right, next round is starting. Let's go. Right, so we know that that is a dangerous spot. Fermite looks like he's going to go for the push. No, he's not. We're good. Let's just quickly take out this cam. Now, be careful the window just here. Window there, good. Window there, good. I expect them to do another peek. Okay, that's not been done. I do hear a double smack on that window right there. So I'm going to go place a Claymore. I'm just going to have a little uh, spring pre-fire just to kind of draw them out if they are in there to try and get a cheeky little Claymore kill. Now we know that there's a hole there. We do know, so you won't know. But if I put a drone down to give you an idea. You've got that's the objective. You've got Valk just there. So now we know that they've got a Valk. You want to look out for some Valk camps when we push in. But this is where I'm particularly going to aim. So I'm actually going to leave my drone here. When I aim in the window, I'm going to aim in this direction. Just in case, if there was someone there, I would have possibly took their head off if they were peeking that window. I'm going to get back on my drone. I'm going to look around again. Oh, okay, so we see there's an Echo drone. I'm going to try and take that out without anyone knowing. Okay, there's a Valcam. That just got exposed to me. I want to try and take out these Echo Drones. It looks like someone's already taken it out. I mean, I need to try and get in here and go to the right. Is there anyone to my left as I come in? No, there isn't. Is there any hole on the floor? Can they shoot me through the floor? They can't. So, let's try and... Right. Let's get in. We're exposed here to the right, so we need to be careful. I'm gonna remember swing or be swung, guys. I'm swinging. I'm swinging. We know there's someone out to our right. There's only one left here. Friendly last operator standing. There's only one up left. I need to try and get eyes on them. I think I downed them. Yeah, I did. There we go. Swing or be swung. Now we wanted to try and get eyes on them because we did the last thing we wanted to do there, guys, was push up and. Uh, have an engagement without knowing where they are because the reason my teammate died then is he did have a possibly have a drone and he didn't use it to his advantage and find out where he is so it's two against one knowing exactly where they are it's a waste of utility if you want to up improve yourself and up the ranks that's what you need to do here we go ash again i like to pick up the diffuser i do solo queue in this game the reason i pick up the diffuser is because i do normally get a plant off Maybe not so much as Ash, because I'm pushing up there. Ash is a very aggressive character of using Ash. It's because you're always on the offense. But I still like to have the diffuser, because if I get an opportunity in these low ranks, no one else does take it. They still go for the kills. I'll go for the plant over a, over a kill all day long. Remember, it's an objective game, so objective wins win, wins games, not fights. Yeah, again, we know that someone was up at that window, because of uh, in the previous draining phase, we heard a double hit on that window. So people still are definitely going for that and hoping for someone, one of us to push. They're in the same spot. Now they probably have got a mozzie again. They've got an echo. Okay, I didn't manage to get my drone out of the way there. So it is good to know who they've got. Obviously pinging it if you're solo queue. Just so it marks it for everyone else so you know. We know that they've got multiple cams here. So we need to watch out for a fawn. Fawn means when we go around a corner, be careful, look for the logo and get the hell out of there because that thing can kill you so badly and so quickly. A Rooney, that's going to be an issue getting through doors. We haven't got much utility we can throw for it. I can shoot my ash into it and stop it, but there's many things here that can slow us down. They're trying everything possible to stop a push. This knock's going to have to watch out with that window. Let me take out that cam. Now let me watch these long peaks. Okay, we are good. And now I'm going to look down here. Okay, Nock managed to stop it and almost got done by the fawn. 
I might push just behind Nox just to give a bit of support. Okay, I'm going to get out. We've got that barbed wire there. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to put a claymore down. I was going to push behind to help, even though we didn't have uh, views as to where they are. I'm going to send my drone through. I lost my first drone. Okay, I've got someone right there. Now, they got any Valk cams? That yes, they do. I'll just tuck my drone down and quickly just take that out. Okay, Valk cam is gone. Wait, okay, so there's someone right at that window there. I'm putting that there. Oh, that was so lucky that I put that Claymore down. Right, did I lose my drone? No, right, it's 2v1 scenario. I'm going to get in there. Always look down when you go in. We know that we were last seen there. No! That's my bad. I lost my drones. There was no way of me getting visual on her. I, the only thing I could have done is pre-shot round every bend. I lost there. Unlucky for us. But now we're moving on to defence. And let's see who we get to use as defence. So we're going to be using castle, not pulse. So as I didn't actually think I mentioned there, I'll show you the uh, attachments at the end. What I didn't mention there is Ash's utility. What it does, it fires um, like a grenade launcher. But the grenade launcher, does it, what it does, it, it can open up holes in walls like a sledge. Imagine hitting a wall with a sledge. But rather than having to be up close and personal, you can fire it from really far away and take out doors, castles, any soft object and create an entrance or an opening for you to be able to get in fast. Typically what you do is you would fire it up against a, a wall and sprint and as it opens you go through but that is when you've got full confidence and you know what, it's, what, what you're doing with it. What there, rather than you hit it, taking out that rooney with it, what I should have done is probably took out the side wall, opened up the side wall, gone in through the side wall and tried getting the plant off just so they had to push me rather than me pushing them. But I'm still on the learning curve. This is how my brain's telling me I should have done it. But in the moment, it's like, you know, yeah, everyone's got a plan until they get hit. I know I'm not getting hit, but it's where I haven't played in a while. I'm going to be like that. So Castle, his main objective is he's got four castles. And it just makes it so any soft window or doorway turn to a solid object. It's not completely solid, but it, it means they have to hit it ten times. Or use an ash or something to take it down real quick. It slows them from pushing in uh, to objectives. It's a great way to create... openings i'm what i'm doing here is i'm shooting the bottom of walls and this is just so we can get audio cues all around i need to go ahead and put my castle but i don't know where it's going to be best for me to put a castle i need to really that rotate i might actually put a castle here on this door stop them come just forcing themselves in there i'm gonna go ahead and just shoot out the bottom here i'm gonna put the castle here There we go. Someone's used the ash. I'm going to put another castle here. I want to just stop them from being able to push in that way. We're all kind of trapped in this room though now. Unless... Uh... We're in a bad spot. Okay, they're all around us right now. Got a week. I need to get this cam down. So the team have got eyes, even if I go down. Critical bond One four remaining. Diffuser located. 
Ah, as well, Jake, you could hear his thing was charged. Okay, I got that cam down, so that was lucky. That cam means I could give him position. Now they know where the bomb is. There we go. We won the round. At least I distract him long enough. See, the castles just made it a bit harder for them to get in. They couldn't just rush positions. That's why castle's good. It's not my go-to. Personally, my go-to operators is camera operators. So I'd use an Echo. I don't actually tend to go for Valkyrie, but I go Echo. I try and stop their drones, so maybe a mute. A Goyo is really good, uh, especially if you know that they're late pushers. If they're not, they're not so much. But uh, yeah, I'm typically an Echo main. Let me go back to Castle so it don't switch me up. And I like how his secondary is a shotgun as well. With creating that hole in the wall, lower wall, I could hear that buck was underneath as well. Which was great for, for my advantage and it gave me that audio cue so I could just literally turn on him and get him killed. Protect the bombs. Okay. This is the spot where they done us. Now, we could go ahead and do this wall up. It's not so necessary. I'm going to do this side. As you know, I'm going to do that up because that might uh, get one of us killed doing that there. I'm going to. So you know that I pushed through that window? Oh, my. Okay, at least I took two of them out. I'm going to change this for a castle because we know that they always push through. It's just trying to uh, create a way for them to enter the area. And uh, if I put this at least on this side, then we know what way they're coming in. We haven't really boarded anything. I'm going to put a cam here. This will give us some eyes in this room. That might have been an Ash that's taken one of them out. No, they haven't. So let me just get that cam set up. Okay, that's good. We have got a rotational hole. We've got two people out there, so I can't really border that off of a castle. Okay, I've seen that. We've got an issue here. We need to try and get more angles on them. Okay, we got one down. Okay, we killed that one because we had the other one down. Okay, he's dead. Right, now that we've got that done, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, border this off. Yo, he managed to get an objective without any of us knowing. Please see him, Warden. Oh, my Lord. I thought we were completely safe. I was actually going to go border that off. So then we had, we can close the even all of the ways of him getting in. And we know exactly where he is when he comes into the room. It doesn't matter, though. We managed to clutch that up. Not too sure how. But, yeah, my whole idea then was to block off certain ways so... In order for him to get into the room, we either hear him smacking that door multiple times or we would uh, know where he's coming from because there's only one opening. Back to Castle. The great thing about me doing this series where I show you how I play every character is refreshing me how everyone plays. It's good to know how everyone plays this game just so no matter what happens, you're fully aware... What utility someone's got and how it's used, if it's been changed. I don't know if I should have opened that. I mean, I'll open one side. Same again. I've left that bit a little bit too open. I'm going to just shut one side. Might have given them too many windows for them to shoot into the objective. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm shooting along the whole bottom of this wall. And that is simply just so they can't uh, go ahead. Right, we've got an issue. Get that down just in case I die.
Yeah, man, shit fuse out then. Swapping mats. Warden. I want to get out of here, but I'm trapped. Okay, we're good. I'm going to go change this window, turn it into a castle. One out four remaining. Okay, that's good. That's Ashdown. I can reinforce this. That's what I'm going to do. Stop them from getting that opening. Probably shouldn't do that, not this late in the game. I'm going to go close ways in. Okay, that was a bit of a st stupid move there, guys. Oh, just one shot. Oh, I shouldn't do that. Don't do what I'm doing here, guys. It's me just testing the water. I'm in gold, and I think I'm still as good as I once was. I'm really not. I might have just made it really hard for my uh, teammate there. We didn't have. To, I didn't have to do that. We could have just gone straight for the win. Yes. There we go. That's why the camera was really good as well to have that down there. And I'm, I'm glad I actually boarded off that wall so he didn't have uh, multiple ways of getting in. We won. So there we go, guys. That is how I use uh, Castle and how I use Ash. Let me show you the weapon attachments. So the loadout for Ash is I've got the Scope 1.5, the Flash Hider, the Vertical Grip. And then uh, that's it, really. I'll go and show you what attachments I've got on the R4C. I've got the Reflex A, the Extended Barrel, the Laser, the Vertical Grip, and them. Then I've got the Pistol with the Suppressor and Laser. The reason I use the Suppressor as an attacker is whenever I go to shoot out a camera, typically I'd actually go and pull out my pistol and fire at the camera with my pistol. So that way it's, it's not heard as well uh, because you're using a suppressed weapon unless they're really close. And I use the Claymore. Then let me go over to Castle. For Castle for his loadout, I've got the UMP. And I use the Reflex A, the Flash Hider, the Vertical Grip. And then for my shotgun, I use the Reflex A. And I would actually put a laser on that shotgun as well. Uh, and then I've got, I use a shotgun as a secondary. That's why I probably would never use that shotgun. Because you've got the shotgun as a secondary. Uh, and then I will use no sights, no underbarrel. This is probably because it is quite new. But in theory, I'll just have stick the laser on there. And then I'll use the Bulletproof camera along with him as well so guys like follow comment subscribe hope this is helpful it's helping me as much as it's probably helping you uh if it does this does give you any help please leave a like on the video it does help more than you think and uh, i'll see you in the next one peace